Have you ever wondered how tax incentives are influencing American jobs and migrant hiring practices? Today, we navigate through the shifting sands of this complex issue. In the United States, tax incentives such as the Work Opportunity Tax Credit or WOTC have become a significant point of discussion. This credit allows businesses to claim a deduction of up to $9,600 each year for each qualifying employee hired from certain groups, including migrants and asylum seekers. Take Tyson Foods as an example. Following the closure of their pork factory in Perry, Iowa, Tyson laid off 1,200 workers. Shortly after, they announced plans to fill 52,000 job positions with migrants. This move sparked debate with some suggesting that such policies inadvertently favor the employment of migrants over American workers, potentially reshaping the job market significantly. But the implications of these hiring practices extend far beyond immediate financial benefits for companies. Economic and social issues are also touched upon, such as the impact on local communities and the long-term sustainability of such labor policies. The integration of migrants into the workforce also raises questions about wage levels, working conditions, and the potential displacement of American workers. Alongside the WOTC, other tax credits and incentives encouraging the hiring of migrants come under scrutiny. Critics argue that these measures could allow companies to significantly reduce their labor costs, making the employment of American workers less attractive financially. This situation raises concerns about the future of job security and wage growth for American citizens in sectors heavily impacted by these policies. The debate also encompasses the role of temporary housing initiatives by companies. These are seen as part of a broader strategy to manage labor costs and maximize profitability. Such initiatives can have far-reaching implications for the real estate market and local communities, further complicating the discourse on the relationship between immigration policies, corporate practices, and economic outcomes. As this situation unfolds, it's crucial to engage in a balanced and informed discussion that considers the perspectives of all stakeholders, including American workers, migrants, businesses, and policymakers. The challenge lies in finding equitable solutions that support economic growth and job creation, while ensuring fair labor practices and the well-being of all workers, regardless of their nationality. The conversation around these developments is ongoing, with opinions divided on the best path forward. As the American job market continues to evolve, it will be essential to monitor the impacts of these policies and practices, ensuring that the pursuit of economic efficiency does not undermine the principles of fairness and opportunity for all. Today, we've delved into the complexities of tax incentives and their impact on hiring practices. The effects of these policies on American jobs and migrant hiring practices are far-reaching and multifaceted, stirring a debate that continues to evolve. With economic growth, job creation, fair labor practices, and the well-being of all workers at stake, the need for ongoing, informed discussion is clear. So as we move forward, remember, the sands are shifting, but our understanding of this issue must remain solid.